We're canceling Christmas. Shut it all down now. So we are finally at the end of season 1 of Force and it's ending in all out war on all fronts. We've got Tommy and the Seb versus Walter Flynn and his 4 horsemen. We've also got Jannard versus Diamond in this battle for control and power over the CBI. But there's also D-Mac fighting for his life in hospital and JP wants Tommy to find the guy who's responsible for putting his son in this position. And it does look like D-Mac will pull through. But we are gonna see Tommy cancelling Christmas. So no doubt season 1 of Force will end in a lot of action, violence, death and a lot of collateral damage, and I do think Dr. Williams will be one of them. Now, although we never saw anything in the trailer from Kay Egan, I do think there is a high chance she could still return, because they've been building for this for all season long, so that's something else to watch out for. But as usual, we're gonna run through all the scenes and all the details from this final trailer for Power Book 4 Force in Season 1. So with that being said, let's start with where this trailer kicked off, which was with JP and Tommy in the hospital, with JP wanting Tommy to find out who did this to his son. And no doubt, in the back of Tommy's mind, I think he'll have a few people in mind already, because he knows he's at war with the Flins, but he also knows Jannard is a trash bag who's never liked him since day one, and there's a few reasons why Jannard hates Tommy so much. So I'm sure Tommy will be able to put two and two together from the two dry buys and DMAC warning him that he needs to watch his back. But what about DMAC himself? It does look like he's in bad shape, but I do think he is going to pull through, and this is something that will only make him stronger and also reunite him with JP. But when he does wake up, maybe he may even consider what Tommy said and try and leave the game while he can and put his mathematical mind to good use. But I think it's already too late. He was born in the streets and this is power and we rarely do see any happy endings. So let's talk about this war because this is something which definitely won't end in a happy ending because there will be a lot of death and collateral damage on both sides. Now we saw Walter Flynn putting his war room together in episode 9 which is heavily focused on the Flynns reuniting thanks to Walter Flynn manipulating his kids into believing Tommy was in on the attack with the Serbs. But now we're going to see Tommy putting his war room together which consists of 1.5 million worth of Serbs and he's the general who will be laying down his strategy for how they're going to take on the Flins. And we all know Tommy has experience in the streets because we've seen him come up against a lot of enemies in New York where he was even battered and bruised and close to death on many occasions himself. But now we're going to see him use all his experience with what he's learned from Ghost and Kanan but adding his Christmas cancelling finesse on top. And this is the first time we've heard Tommy say Christmas is cancelled on force, something I'm sure a lot of people were waiting for. And we even see Tommy unleashing and choking this person in the trailer, and we can't exactly see who this is, but most likely it's one of Walter Flynn's soldiers. But coming to Walter Flynn, he put all the wheels in motion in episode 9, for the war that Tommy actually started with the Serbs. And because of the drive-by on Vic and Gloria, Walter Flynn hit back because his pride and ego kicked in. But regardless of all the warnings from Uncle Paulie that they're not strong enough to take on the Serbs, he's going ahead with it whether he likes it or not and it's partly thanks to him manipulating his kids into believing Tommy was working with the Serbs. So now Vic wants revenge for Gloria's death and Claudia is someone who's sticking by her family and Walter Flynn really will need the help of his kids because Walter Flynn lacks the knowledge about how Tommy Egan works. Just like Claudia said, he's smart and he's strategic and both Vic and Claudia have worked under Tommy at different stages in this first season of Force and this really will benefit them. For example, Claudia knows where the lab is and we see them attacking the lab in the trailer and as the 48 Laws of Power tells us, the first attack can be a real strong weapon because it forces an enemy to react with no time to think or plan and when someone has no time to think, they're thrown on the defense and this is where mistakes are made and we even hear Claudia say she knows how to make things happen and not just because of the knowledge she has but how she can handle this side of the business herself because we saw her killing Mai who was her first kill but then we saw her somewhat spiraling out of control but then she followed up by dropping her second body in Reggie and it was actually Tommy who was there for her where he helped her bury both bodies and making her realize this is what they do. So I guess you could say Tommy has somewhat been mentoring Claudia and Vic and now they're both going against him and neither are going to back down just like we saw in the trailer with the phone call that Tommy made to Vic because they really are both up for war. So everyone's got a gun in hand from Tommy, the Serbs, even Merkovic seems like he's getting his hands dirty himself. But there's also Liliana and the scared Dr. Williams in the back and I really wouldn't be surprised if there was collateral damage with Dr. Williams being killed in the crossfire because I do think more innocent people will fall and she's not as important as she once was because now Liliana can cook Dahlia and so can JP. 
but I do expect a majority of the characters to make it to Season 2, because I do think they're playing the long game in force. And we also saw the same with none of the Tohadas being killed in Season 1 of Ghost, and none of the Thomases being killed in the first season of Raising Kanan. But if we do see a major death in the finale, then I do think it will be Walter Flynn. Because at some point, Vic and Claudia will realise how they were manipulated, and I touched on how Uncle Paulie may be still one to watch, because he holds the key with all the information he has about Walter's manipulation and moves, and we've already seen him go to Vic on one occasion. But by the end of the trailer, it does seem like Walter Flynn looks like he may have Tommy right where he wants him, but is this when we're going to see a twist to the tale, with either kids turning on their father, or just like we've previously seen in the Power Universe, where Dre pulled up behind Tommy at the end of Season 2, or how Monet pulled up behind Tommy at the end of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1? Could we see someone pulling up behind the Flynns when he thinks Tommy is cornered? For example, is this when we could see 2-Bit finally make his return, or possibly even Tariq? And even though I do think it is a bit too soon for a crossover with Tariq showing up in Chicago, it really would be quite poetic if we do see him showing up in Episode 10, considering Tommy did show up at the end of Season 1 of Ghost. And this is also how they could set up Dahlia to cross over in New York. So let's see what happens in this scene, because I do think there is a twist to come, whether it's with 2-Bit, Tariq, or someone else, there is just no way Walter Flynn gets the better of Tommy Egan. But let's come to the other war, and that's with Diamond and Jannard, because finally Diamond's realised who Jannard is, he's a snake. But something I mentioned in my character analysis breakdown of Diamond and Jannard, was how we've seen Diamond holding back, but now that he knows Jannard is ready to make his move and take over the CBI with Blackstone in his corner, we really are gonna see Diamond unleashing hell in his own way, and it does look like he's killing someone, which could be anyone, it could be Blackstone, Officer Bennigan, or the cop that was causing Officer Bennigan trouble, because I don't think he'll be killing Jannard, not yet anyway, because what I think is more likely is him setting up Jannard instead, and one way which he can do this is with Adrian. Now, Adrian's character description said Diamond will give her a story, so could he give her Jannard's instead? And will this lead to the downfall of his brother? Because I'm not so sure whether Diamond has it in him to kill Jannard, but as I mentioned before, we haven't really seen Diamond fully unleash his rage, so let's see what he really is capable of. And I think Blackstone is a death prediction of mine. But with Diamond and Jannard, one thing we can say for certain, this relationship will never be the same again. It is broken beyond repair, because of what Diamond heard Jannard say in Episode 9. Overhearing Jannard say Diamond is dead to him reminded me of what Ghost told Tariq. He was no longer his son after letting Tommy in his penthouse suite, and he went from being his son to his enemy, and that's what Diamond and Jannard are. They are now enemies, and Diamond now knows what needs to be done. He needs to be 5 moves ahead and play a sucker to catch a sucker. So that's the season finale trailer breakdown, and you can tell episode 10 really will feel like a movie, with the war with Tommy and the Serbs versus the Flins, and the relationship between Jannard and Diamond completely broken. But elsewhere we do need to find out whether D-Mac will survive, which I do think he will, and then there's the story of Kay Egan. Will she finally return? And could we finally see the return of 2-Bit? Because where they close some chapters and plots, they're gonna leave the door open for new ones with a twist, because this is power. So with that being said, drop all your thoughts and predictions down below in the comment section. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.